In this video, we're going to be making a silly little app in Visual Basic that basically asks a user a question. In my case, it's going to be, is New South Wales going to win the state of origin this year? And the user has two options. They can either press yes and get a box that comes up and says, correct, New South Wales will win the state of origin. Or if they go to click no, the no button just jumps to either side of the screen. Okay, so it's impossible to click the no button. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is I'm going to close that off and get started on making this. shouldn't take us too long. I'll just close off this solution and we're going to start a new project today. So go to your file menu, make yourself a new project. Choose Visual Basic from the left and Windows Forms app, .NET Framework in the middle there. The name of your app, just give it something meaningful. Um, going to call it Question Asker sound very professional but we'll roll with that location you want to save that on your um in your documents somewhere i'm just going to save on my desktop for the sake of this tutorial but save it in your documents and click ok all right so our app is now ready to be created on your screen at the moment you've got a form and this is basically an empty app and it's your job to just do it up with bits and pieces so the first thing i want to bring out is a couple of buttons so we'll bring out three buttons so we've got button 1, which is going to say no on it. So over in your properties here, once you've selected button 1, you want to change the text to no. You also want to come down to the design section and change its name from button 1 to something more meaningful. So we'll write BTN, which stands for button, and we'll write no 1. Okay, and the reason we write no 1 is because we're going to have no 2 over here. So let's do that now. Button 3, change its name to btn no2 scrolling up change the text that appears on the button face from button 3 to no so you'll see button 3 here will change to no finally we've got button 2 in the middle there the text that we want it to say is yes and scrolling down into the design section we want to change its name from button 2 to btn yes don't forget it is really important to have those three characters at the start of your names just to describe what that element is in your um, app okay because this is a button we've shortened it down to btn and when we look at this in the code we'll know that we're working with a button all right the next thing we need to do is put in um, a question up here in a label so in your prop uh, in your toolbox sorry you'll find a label that you can pick up and drag on to your page in the design section over here in the properties, give it a name. Now for labels, we shorten it down to LBL. And I'm just going to give it the name question. So label question. And going back up a bit, the text that we want it to say, will New South Wales win the state of origin this year? Okay, and that will appear up here. Now that looks pretty ugly. ugly. So let's start changing it up a bit and just give it a bit of formatting. First of all, this question that we're clicked on at the moment with the label, let's change that. So I'm going to go up and look for the font section here. Okay, you can expand it out if you like. Size, oh, I might go size 12. Uh, we don't want bold or anything like that. I might change the font though. Plenty of fonts there to pick from. Uh, let's try, probably a bit too thick that one. If you want to have a better look at this, what we might do, if you minimise that font thing and you can click these little dots over here, and a dialog box will come up, you can get a better idea of what these fonts are going to look like. If you want a nice big bold font that's going to stand out up the top there, this one I'll probably do. No, oh, that wasn't too big. We'll just make the size a little bit bigger. It should be sweet. There we go. So will New South Wales win the state of origin this year? The other thing I'm going to change with this font is the four colour. That's just the colour of the text. I'm going to choose white. And the reason I'm choosing white, I know it's hard to see now, but I'm going to change the background colour of this form. So click on the form now. We actually haven't named it yet, so the text for the form should be called, I don't know, something like question asker, or you could call it state of origin question, whatever you want to call it. And that just appears up in the top left here. That's question asker is up there now. You also need to give the form a name, so where it says Form 1. FRM is the shortened version of Form. And you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it 
FRM question asker. All right, now can we we can refer to this form in the code using that name. So to change the background color, you need to go back up the top to the appearance and change the back color. I usually go over to web here and I've got a bit more of a range of colors to pick from. Because I'm a New South Wales supporter, I might choose a blue color. That'll do. Now these buttons, they're pretty small at the moment. So what I might do is just highlight all three of them, stretch them out a bit so they get bigger. You want to try and get them all the same size as well. So just double check. Yeah, they're all the same size there. You want to have consistency in your app, so that's why they're looking for the same size, roughly the same gap between each button. I might make my screen a bit smaller. Just ensure they're in, in the center of the page. Alright, so that's looking good. Um, if you want, you could change color of the buttons, change the font on them. Okay, it's up to you. You can see it just here in the appearance section where you can change all that, but I'm going to leave it as is for now. So to do the coding, first thing we need to do is make this button here invisible when we start our program. So click on the first No button, and just coming down into your properties here, we're looking for the behavior section and we're looking for visible and we're going to turn visible to false that means when we start the app this button won't appear let's click the start button at the top and show you that okay so that's how our app is looking at the moment that no button's there but it's just invisible all right the other two buttons are there but they don't do anything when we click on them now it's now our job to code them up so let's start with the yes button it's an easy one double click on the yes button and you'll see now we've got a little bit of code in there already. It's basically saying when we click on the Yes button. You can see it's a click event. So when our mouse clicks the Yes button, what do we want it to do? Well, we're going to write in message box, whoops, dot show. Just press Enter when I should have pressed Tab. Message box, dot show. And in brackets and quotation marks, you just need to write in a response when they click Yes. So I'll write correct. New South Wales will win... The origin this year okay and if we click start now just to test that out when we click yes we get a message box that says correct New South Wales will win the origin this year okay if you want outside of those quotation marks you can put a comma and you can put in some more quotation marks and you can put in a little header that goes on that um, little dialog box or message box that appears so I might just say correct. Alright, then I'll put a comma again Oops. outside those quotation marks after I say correct. Okay, and this time what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking message box buttons. Message box buttons dot and you can give them an option of what buttons appear on that um, little message box. So you can have an OK button for them to click. Have OK and cancel, yes and no. All we need is an OK. Alright, so that's easy. And finally, one more comma. You can write message box and you can choose icon. Message box icon dot. And you've got all these different pictures that will appear on your message box. You can have uh, like an asterisk, an error message, exclamation, like a little exclamation mark, a hand. Um, what we might put in is an exclamation. Alright, so now when we run it, you'll see that the message box that appears is a little bit more styled. Okay, we've got a little header that says correct, we've got an exclamation mark, and even a little sound appears now. So it looks a lot more professional. You can see we've just got an OK button for them to click on as well. Alright, and that takes them back to the app. Now, going back to our form over here, we need to put in some code for these no buttons to work. So when we hover over one no button, it should disappear and the other one will reappear. Alright, so let's start with a no button that is it that appears on our page. Let's just double click on it. Now when we double click on it, it comes up as a click event. That means when we click on the no button. But remember, as I said before, we're not going to be clicking on the no button in this app. Okay, so we're going to change that by going up to this drop down box here. And we're going to go all the way down to mouse enter. Okay, and we can delete this bit of code here now. That is the click event for the no button. Okay, this is our new bit of code that we've just put in. Basically says when our mouse enters button number two. Ah, oh, sorry, button no two. When our mouse enters it, so basically when it touches it, 
what do we want it to do? What we're going to do is we're going to write in button number 2 dot visible equals false. That means it goes invisible. And then button no 1 dot visible equals true. So that means button no 1 will reappear on the page. Okay, let's just test that out and we'll see how that looks. So when we hover over this no, it disappears and the other one reappears. Now we just need to do very similar code on this button over here so that it, it disappears and button no 2 reappears. Okay, so go back to your form. I know it's getting a bit confusing now. Double click on the no 1 button, so the first no button. Remember it's a click event at the moment. Okay, you can change that just by writing mouse enter. And then down in this section, we'll write button no one dot visible equals false. And button no two dot visible equals true. Okay, so the second button will pop up, the first one will disappear. That should be it. So let's test it out now. We'll see if we've got a working app. Okay, we can hover over the no buttons and they keep switching side to side. We click on yes and we get our little message box. Alright, so that's our little question asking game. It's a little bit silly but gives you a bit of an idea of how the visibility works uh, in Visual Basic. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.